In this video, I'm going to show you how you can post all your new Twitter followers to your Discord server. In my videos, I get started right away, no into tutorials. So let's go to this website called ifttt.com. Once you're on this site, if you don't have an account, just go ahead and click get started to sign up and create an account. I'm just gonna go to the other page where I'm already logged in. So once you're logged in, this is the home page you're gonna be shown with your applets. If you don't have this screen, then just click here, applets, and that's what we're gonna create. We're gonna create something called an applet. So once you're on this page, you wanna go and click create all the way here at the top or in this card, just click create. So in this part right here, you're gonna have if this and then that. So basically, if this is gonna be when someone follows us on Twitter, then that then post it on my discord server right so let's go to if this and select that real quick um, we're going to be choosing the service twitter twitter and we're going to look for the card follower new follower here we go new follower select that card and then that now we're going to select here web hooks web hooks all right so in this web hook section we're going to click on the only option that we have, make a web pull request, click that. And this little form right here, I'm going to tell you how to fill it out. But first, let's go to our Discord server, right? Here in our Discord server, we're going to create a webhook. So let's go to server settings, click on the arrow, server settings, and we're going to go to integrations and webhooks, right? We're going to click on create webhook. We can change the name if we want to. We can even change the profile picture, but I'm just gonna leave it as default. I'm gonna select here the channel where I want the messages to be sent, and I'm gonna leave it on general. So click general, and then the webhook is created. So we click on copy webhook URL. Let's go back to that form. And here where it says URL, you're being asked for the Discord webhook URL. So I'm going to paste the webhook URL up here and I'm going to select here post because we want it to send, not to obtain, we want it to send. And I'm going to click on content type, application JSON. So here on body, we're going to format what the message is going to contain, right? So let's start with the brackets. We need to have everything in brackets. So we do open and close brackets. I'm going to separate them just so that it's more aesthetic. So the first thing that we need to do is content. And this is saying, this is what the message is going to contain. So you're going to do another set of quotes. And in between these quotes is what we're going to state what our message is going to say, right? So when someone follows me on Twitter, I want it to say hello, then the message on Discord is going to just say hello, right? But of course, that's not what we want. Just wanted to demonstrate what that was about. So um, let's just have this hello as whatever hello. Um, these are the ingredients basically that you can use in this message. You can include the person's full name, the about section on their profile. You know, you can just read these. I'm not going to go through all of them. So let's do something cool. I'm going to make it so that the message that is sent include the followers profile picture and the name on my discord. So basically uh, you will see. So let's say we're going to do the avatar, which is going to be the profile picture avatar between quotes and then dots and then two more quotes i'm going to separate it just so that it's more readable and then you have to include a comma right so the image url is going to be this one what is it user image url right so the avatar which is the profile picture it's going to include the followers picture right so we put a comma and then let's do another one, which is going to be the username. So comma username and then two dots and then two more quotes and a comma. And in here, we're going to include the full name of the person. There's like a little space here that we don't really need. All right. So we have the avatar, which is the person's profile picture, the username, which is the person's name and the content. Um, what are we going to make it say? I don't know. They just make it say, I just followed this person. No, I just followed uh, my name and you should too. All right, so let's make it say that. So I think we are set. Let's go ahead and create action. I am going to copy this and put it in the description if you want it. Um, so yeah, let's create action and then hit continue. 
All right, so we don't have to change anything here. Let's hit finish. And we have our applet running. So every time it runs, you're gonna have here notification on view activity. And sometimes it's going to run, but it's going to fail. And you're gonna have that error in this page as well. Like for example, if a lot of people followed you at the same time, and then this is triggered too many times, this has like a limit of how many times it can run. So you're gonna have an error there. Um, let's give it a try. Something that I didn't mention at the beginning is that you will be asked to sign in with your Twitter account. Since I have already done something similar and I've already signed in on my Twitter account here on IFTTT, it did not prompt me to do it now, but it will to you. So I'm just going to get another account to follow me on Twitter and see how that triggers, right? So I'm going to click on follow, boom, following. So now we're going to wait until the IFTTT thing decides to run and um, the activity will be shown here, right? So it usually takes a few minutes. So don't think that this is going to be too automatic, all right? So I'm going to let it here and I'm going to cut back to when it runs. So I just refresh right away and this is an example of how it looks when it fails. Um, it says too many requests for this host. It usually retries to do it after a while. So I'm just going to cut back to when it actually runs and show you. Okay, so this is me the next day and we have the error where we left it off. Applet failed by too many requests by this host. If we go up, we have that it tried to run again and I have rate limited probably because I have other things running. It failed again. It will just continue to to um, send the thing until it actually does. So it failed again at 844, which uh, the original failure was at 832. And we can see that at 847, so like 15 minutes later, it actually ran, applet ran, and uh, if you follow a request, blah, blah, blah. Let's go check it out on Discord. And we have the message right here. Let me get it closer, All right? So we have, <clears throat> the message I just followed this user you should too and it came up with the name of the follower but it did not come with a profile picture of the follower so apparently just the way it is formatted is not the same way that it takes it on discord so we can modify it like what we're gonna do is that we're gonna modify the actual webhook so let's go to server settings and then uh, integrations and then the webhook, right? So we have it called SpideyBot. Let's just call it Twitter, Twitter, right? Simple. And we can actually change the profile picture of this too. Uh, let's get a Twitter icon. Okay, so we have a Twitter logo up. Uh -huh. Okay, so now that we have renamed the webhook, when the message is sent, instead of the name of the follower, it's gonna say Twitter and then it's going to have this profile picture, right? So it's been saved. And since we have some settings in the actual IFTT applet that are going to override those things, let's go ahead and remove it. Um, let's see, where can, I where can I edit this thing? Oh, settings, I guess. And then I should go here, edit. And I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the username because I have already set a username with the actual webhook and I'm going to eliminate the avatar. So basically it will only have the content. And so basically you can modify what the message says. And remember that you can also choose from these, like if you want the full name, the about of the profile, the location, the follower count, or even a link to their profile, which I think are probably embedded on Discord as well. Um, uh, let's, let me just give it a try real quick. So if I send this message on Discord, yeah. So basically if you include here, for example, two, and then I include link to profile, it's going to have this URL, https twitter.com slash the user. And it's going to display this little card. This little card is called embed. Um, so you can include that. Like I just follow this account and you should too. And then the link to their profile and it's going to contain this little card. Um, just play around with it and modify it as you want. I'm not going to run it again because then just the video is going to be too long. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends. And stay safe out there.